So there are really uh, three types of abnormalities that we actually can pick up. So abnormalities <coughs> for which there is an FDA-approved drug. So the best example for breast cancer, of course, is HER2 amplification and uh, HER2 target therapies like trastuzumab. So we also pick up abnormalities in breast cancer, which have been successfully targeted in other diseases, like EGF receptor mutations that you can target with gefitinib successfully in lung cancer, or ALK translocations or activating mutations in ALK, which also <coughs> have been shown to be a, um, a good way to identify lung cancer patients to, to ALK inhibitor therapy. And these are just examples. So we see all these BRAF and all the other uh, mutations that have been sort of uh, effectively linked to a drug in other disease types in breast cancer as well, although much less frequently. And of course, the, 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 sort of the, the uh, really important question is whether these abnormalities in breast cancer confer the same degree of sensitivity to a targeted drug as they do in, in the other disease types. And the third kind is really just fascinating, and that's unfortunately the majority, the majority of the findings are uh, abnormalities where we have a good biological rationale or a prediction that we can make that this abnormality would sensitize you to a pathway inhibitor of the EGFR or the AKT or the piastri kinase pathway, but there is really no proof from clinical studies. The proof only exists in the experimental preclinical setting.